All right. So um, no, so uh, Christian, these are no meatballs. I'm a vegetarian, so this is uh, just spaghetti peas. with uh, peas. But uh, my two colleagues here, left and right, are uh, eating that animal. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and they enjoy it. <laughs> um, sorry. Um, what is the end result uh, on the Firenze seven, uh, seven zero? Eight, was it? I think. Eight. Eight zero, as far as I remember. Seven? Yeah. Okay, seven, sorry. Okay. So the next game uh, coming up is um, Australia. Um yeah, Australia against Finland. I'm really looking forward. I mean, the Australia had oh. done a great debut yesterday, first game of the Champions Cup ever, uh, and they won against Austria. Um, and they were so happy because they had a rough group. I mean, a group B uh, with the Orcas, with uh, the Finnish team, with uh, Vienna and then them. And they're quite a new team. Um, they have been training together since four years. And as I yesterday uh, told, um, it was so funny because Ricardo went there and the, and the first training, uh, he found out they did not have any kind of position. So now we have already um, who is playing in white is a Finnish team already yeah. attacking on the Finland. Australian. Yeah. It's not new work yeah. against Firenze, it is Australia in blue against uh, yeah. Finland. And uh, now Finland, um, the uh, Australians are in uh, counter attack. And uh, I can't see because I still have the um, old basket of the <laughs> Australian that they left me a minute ago. They're fighting in the middle field and then now uh, returning and being a little bit more cautious with the ball because before they lost it quite quick. We have some experienced players in the Australian team. They're coming right and left. There's two on the left, one on the right of the Finnish team. A player trying to hit on the goalie. And um, the Australia team is defending quite well. They're in still in position. Uh, it, it won't be an easy match, but if they're as they motivated as yesterday and hopefully they concentrate in defending, maybe, you know, who knows? It gets better than uh, what I thought because uh, being in that group, they really thought that the only chance to win a match was against Austria because the other teams were a bit um, stronger. So uh, now we are they're fighting uh, about three meters away of the Australian basket on the surface. Mm, Australian is well into position with the goalies and the defenders and trying to do some four checking just to keep the Finnish attackers away. But there's a Finnish attacker on top of the goalie and uh, it's almost, it was a close one, but the goalie did a good job defending uh, the Finnish uh, Players just got it back and they're hammering against the the uh, basket again. However, Australia is keeping up. The question is, is quite it is quite physical, oh. quite fast, and the question is how long they can um, keep it up. But uh, right now, for me, uh, it's Australia when, is when the other team is is you know marking the pace and with this speed that you have to just uh, adapt. This is a dangerous situation now. The goal. white players. Yep. No, no, continue. No, the goal was still uh, stolen. Yeah, that's it. That's already the that goal. That was a clear. Yeah, that uh, was a dangerous situation. Uh, uh, three uh, Finnish players, one even stole the basket and was building kind of tunnel um, over uh, the basket for his teammates. And they uh, came with the ball very fast through the uh, almost non-existing defense and they scored. But until then, very well done by um, uh, Australia. And they are my uh, upcoming heroes right now. Um, it's definitely, I'm a total fan of, of, of Australia right here. You need some friends? Yeah, always. <laughs> you can't have enough friends. I got enough enemies, so I need more friends. I know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> but as long as, long as I've, uh, I have you close to me, York, I'm, for, for, for I'm me, safe. I, 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 I cannot avoid the, the enemies anyway. I only can be successful. That's my only motivation. <laughs> so <laughs> we, go, we go back. Uh, oh. Uh, the picture just stopped. Okay, we have a counter attack uh, from uh, the Finns, and uh, they build up uh, their attack pattern. Start from the close side, going in in the middle over the open side, and directly oh. pushing up the goalkeeper with a tight grip around the waist, pushing him up, and with the red right arm, the ball into the uh, basket. And the defense wasn't able to stop. So it's 2-0. 
Um, but still, uh, I'd say good game from uh, uh, Australia. Um, they they don't see intimidated uh, at all by the play uh, play of uh, f uh, the strong Finnish team. I think that the Australian is not so, so used this tough uh, body contact uh, game what the Finnish is doing. So you the, you you see that they're putting much more energy when they have the ball and uh, it's more aggressive. Uh, it is, of course, difficult uh, when you experience this uh, the first time in such tournament because uh, I, it seems that uh, the Australian team is more gentle playing and that's, of course, not fit to the Finnish tactics at all. I would say the Finnish has then uh, the advantage if they be more aggressive in that sense. <laughs> and... Yeah, I was reading the uh, um, uh, sorry uh, the chat. Um, I totally agree. What? what? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm shocked. <laughs> Something's wrong here. <laughs> Something's wrong. It's, uh, it's uh, Saturday. It's uh, two thirty-five, and Wolf agrees. So it took me a half day, but that's, uh, that's, that's fine. So um, we have another uh, um, tough attack, and there's a call from the referee. There was a tough attack on the Australian basket by the Finnish team, and uh, um, and we uh, let's see free throw against uh, Finland, and. Uh, There's a call from the referee. Looked like a crypt to the um, crypt to the mask. It's a free throw against Australia. And uh, let's see. It's, it's very see always a free throw, but uh, I seldom see a free throw, which is really an advantage for the people who are doing the free throw. Yeah, so that's a and you should do it fast. I think the advantage is to being uh, fast before uh, the defense can go into place. So if you take too long, uh, you lose this uh, speed advantage of going in a not ordered uh, defense structure. So Finland is coming uh, in again on the defense of Australia. Three minutes left in the in the first uh, half, um, Jörg disagrees, but uh, he's not saying anything that uh, scares me. Um, <laughs> now <laughs> Finland uh, is coming. Uh, uh, well, the ball is dropping down. There was a, a, a quite a, a fast cluster, and the ball is falling down. Now uh, uh, Australia is in ball possession, and there's one Australian player coming in uh, from the close side, and this good chance for Australia to score here. Uh, that's a pity in, in this situation. Uh, uh, was a call from the referee, and that's uh, a penalty. And there's a penalty. Um, I guess there is holding uh, on the basket. A 2 0 for the Finnish team, and now it's going to be a penalty against uh, Finland, right? Yeah, penalty against Finland. Uh, I guess with this high pressure uh, coming in from Australia, um, it was a holding or a shoulder squished into the uh, basket. And uh, let's see who's executing it. Is it? Uh, no, it's not. It's uh, not Ricardo, it's but not I know Ricardo. that they have two Norwegian players uh, that are living in Australia, of course, but that they're experienced. And those are, I mean, Ricardo and the two Norwegian this is players. This a huge player attacking there. Uh, it's uh, like the the, the um, experienced one that oh, they lead the team. Wow, wow, wow. good job. Very, uh, very well done by the defender, by the goalie. He uh, succeeded even against this bigger player to uh, rip uh, the ball free and control it and to go to the surface. Very well done. Yeah. Uh, they, the, pr uh, the attacker makes a mistake. When he grabbed to the, the goalkeeper, he forgot the, the other hand and the ball. And that yes. was the moment uh, the goalkeeper take it. Take, yes. I mean, uh, it's a pity because that would have been maybe a turning point. You know, 2-1 is an easier task than 2-0. 
and it ha could have marked a bit of a difference. But uh, well, I mean, the the goalkeeper did a, a great job, and sometimes attackers, I have the the feeling sometimes that they forget that they have 45 seconds, and you can wear out a goalie if you know how to do it. And sometimes they go just for the first hit, just like they wanted to score on the first uh, wave. And then uh, the goalkeeper uh, waits for this moment where they forget that they're holding the ball and, and take it away. And yeah. Anyway, continue with the game. We have uh, fighting in the middle field and Australia just almost recover. And then now Finland recover the ball and they're attacking over the close corner. We have the goal in a defender and uh, some for taking, but they're, you know, it's one of the girls that is uh, being a goalkeeper. And um, these men are quite, you know, strong and could be easy maybe to remove a woman from the basket more than a man. Uh, Australia recovered the ball and is swimming into a counter attack alone, just passing some uh, Finnish players. But um, the first time is over. A pity because it was a nice counter attack, and um, we have now three minutes of a break 2 0 for uh, Finland. Uh, still, Australia is the surprise in, those t in this tournament, and the past every time we had new teams coming up beside uh, the Orcas, there was a little bit of an exception. We had uh, talking about um, young nations in the in the in the um, in the sport and Colombia has been playing rugby for like 30 years, something like this. And, and Australia is much less. You would expect them to maybe be at the, at the end of the of the rank and have a number 14, and they are not. I mean, they have started with a good standard considering that they have been playing together since just four years, considering that four years ago they didn't even know that there was positions uh, into the game. <laughs> they were just playing with the ball. And uh, to achieve, you know, this kind of rugby within four years, uh, with such an experienced coach like uh, Ricardo, that have been experienced um, rugby all over the world. Uh, he started in Colombia, then he moved to Spain and, and founded a, a team there. And then he was playing for Duisburg even, and then he was playing in Norway. And uh, now is in Australia, uh, helping to develop the sport. So it's amazing. Uh, what he has achieved, and I'm really surprised and happy for the Australian team because you know to put that much effort and that much money, and and now you know they're succeeding and winning uh, the one match they had yesterday against uh, Austria, and now they are putting uh, up a very good game against uh, an experienced team like the Finnish are. But uh, for for Australia, two zero in the half time against Finland. Uh I think it's, it's a not so bad result. No, no, it's uh, great. It's, it's, it's great. It's really for newcomer from coming here to play against Finland in this result. I think it's good that that, and that is uh, what gives you experience. Uh, learn about uh, the the strengths uh, and the, the physical play of Finland. That that helps uh, for for the the development and. Uh, I think it's, it's important to find uh, the, the, the your own capability. It makes no sense to copy a, uh, a game system which is already existing. You have to establish something new. Yep. Otherwise, you are just a, a, a copy of a system egg, which yeah. is already existing. That is not uh, good. So what we could see in the egg game, uh, keep the ball open, play fast, play concentrated. This was very, really Im Im impressive, uh, and uh, see what what's coming out of uh, Turkey in future. So that's it's, it's a really nice, nice part. Yes, and you need to adapt the tactic to the to the team you have, to the kind of of players you have. Uh, not every player can play all the different systems that there is. And now we have the finishers recovering the ball and, and swimming a counter-attack. Two of them coming over the open side toward the goalie from Australia is alone, defending, holding these two Finnish players away, but they, they, they just um, yeah, block the basket from their Australian goalie and uh, achieve a goal. 
Um, so 3-0 and at this point even though Australia is putting up a great game I don't see a turning point anymore with nine minutes and this kind of intensity it's been uh, a very fought game on both sides it's not an easy game for none of the teams but Finnish, uh, Finland it is the stronger team and 3-0 uh, it's already at this point almost impossible to turn around I mean I'm saying it's completely impossible you know miracles happen but uh, very very difficult so now we have a free throw against Finland and uh, you know um, when you don't have it we have a running time so uh, in order uh, for the team to take advantage of this free throw, they need to execute them very quick. And if you are losing 3-0, even more, because every second counts. So now we have Finland recording the ball and coming a counter-attack. Attacking from above, we have the, at the goalie in place and the defenders. But the four checkers took a little bit longer, and so the position of the goalie was a little bit unstable. Um, Ricardo got the ball, recovered it, uh, was trying to do a pass, but the um, playmate was marked, so he tried to swim away and made the pass. And now he's, you know, diving and swimming a counter-attack with his playmate um, together and trying to attack uh, now the goalie of the Finnish team. But the forechecking and the defenders blocked that attack, and now they're trying to come back from the close corner. Uh, over the middle toward uh, above and then over the open side but Finland is really fighting fierce and recovering the ball and uh, trying to swim a counter attack however Australia really uh, doesn't make it uh, easy for the Finnish uh, players they are fighting and every inch and and now the we have three finish against two australian and another goal i mean it was a very good attack from above and that did really this this stabilize this is stabilize this stabilize or whatever what you could see here was that uh, um, australia tried to be more aggressive in the attack and uh, the consequences is they get weak in the defense yes yes so they that cannot that change that, so at this they think that at this point they know that a 3-0 or 5-0 doesn't matter and if they want to achieve maybe a goal they have to put everything uh, on the attack and see if like this at least they achieve a goal but um, uh, I don't know I mean and that's again another 5-0 so yeah. ba basically I if, if you anyway losing the game or you don't can win I, I would strengthen the, the the good part that means i would concentrate um, not to get more more goals, goals yes it's yeah. always it's better if you don't go get goals you don't lose the game yeah and then you have a chance to uh, Maybe try to, to train this <laughs> and against a physical team um uh, get more experience in this so I would, as I would prefer to, if you do the attack and make one goal, it's short time, short time fun. But for for the for the development of the team, I think you should first concentrate on the defense. For the ball offense ball. wins games, defense <laughs> wins championships. Yeah, <laughs> I've heard that also. <laughs> <coughs> Oh, yeah, I was no surprised. No? That's all the pocket. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Well, the no time out for, I guess, uh, Australia. So, four seconds, and I get we continue the game. Six minutes to go. Getting the ball in almost in the half from from uh, Finland, but uh, directly lost the, the the ball control. Now they get the three throw against uh, Australia. Australia, yep. <coughs> so at the moment they should really con concentrate on the on the defense now. Yeah, yeah, right. Because otherwise uh, they would be, I mean, very exhausted and they wouldn't be able to, to return on time for the counter-attack of, of the Finnish um, team. Oh, that was so, holding against uh, 
Of Freya, so let's see. That's a typical situation. Free throw. Can I can they get benefit out of the free throw, or just keep the ball and loot it again uh, immediately? Yeah. So that's a that's a question. That is also the question of our experienced team. Yeah, but you know, the first half they they did a great <coughs> match. I basically I disagree from for for Wolf's comment in the past when he said you have to do do the free throw fast. Mm, that depends on the situation, but if you are three meters away from the goal Let's and, go and you maybe... You, you want to... <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back in the game. Uh, okay, we no, see... Uh, <coughs> sorry, I'm a little if, bit loud. If you see that one of your players, you know, stole the basket and you have a chance to score, I mean, it'll... Never makes sense. I've never seen a, an important game that a stolen basket make a benefit. But I saw an important game uh, um, not decided but scored by a fast uh, free we throw. We we had we achieve a, a, a goal 19 okay, seconds from the end of the let's game. Let's stay in the game. Don't uh, let's mm. not do history here. Of course. So score again against uh, um, Australia. Is this why you you don't have history? History of <laughs> friends, <laughs> friends and history. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm I'm uh, totally aware. I don't have history. I don't need history. I am I am now. Ooh. I am in the moment, Jörg. I don't need past, I don't need future, I'm in the moment. <laughs> so let's go back in the game in this moment. And this is Finland attacking uh, the basket from Australia again. They really go for it now. And yeah. here is, they use the momentum. You see, um, Australia is already uh, under pressure and mental mentally they are, they are uh, having a hard time keeping up with the fast game and the tough game of Finland. And Finland is using this momentum to score and just uh, um, go through uh, the forechecking into the defense. And I uh, think it's a timeout again. I uh, don't know who took it before, but um, another timeout for uh, 50 seconds. So uh, if you just tuned in, I think we have some uh, 300 uh, viewers. If you just turn in, you're watching Champions Cup 2016 here in Berlin. Uh, my name is uh, Wolf. I'm with the local um, underwater rugby uh, team. And uh, next to me is uh, Lorena. She's uh, also playing in my team and uh, is a world champion last year in Cali. And right to me is her, girl, her coach, uh, who did win the, the world champion uh, for the women in Cali last year. So uh, if you have any questions, uh, you can relay them to us. Uh, on uh, the chat uh, next to the uh, live stream, but you also can uh, go uh, into Facebook. Uh, Eva is putting is putting together new pictures and uploading them. And here we are back again in the goal in the game. Uh, last three uh, minutes and ten seconds, Finland against uh, Australia, and uh, uh, Finland is already leading 7-0, um, which is not that big a surprise. Um, they come in really uh, with a lot of experience here. Call from the referee, holding without ball, free throw against uh, Finland. Okay. Okay. Uh, Australia has the ball. Try to enter the, the half of Finland, but uh, basically they are not uh, have enough speed to really enter the, the situation. That is of course a, a gift uh, and present for the Finnish team. They are now bring themselves in a good position to the goal. Try. Uh, attacks from uh, either sides. Now Australia has a ball. Try to go on the top. I think. But yeah. Sorry. No, but it's directly recovered because on the surface it's always too busy with too many people and it's easy to lose the ball. So if you have a counter attack, it's much better to use uh, the the bottom of the pool. And again, uh, free throw against uh, Finland. 
Um, what I, I think what we see here, the, the uh, Finnish team is, is a little bit, is, is way or way above uh, the, uh, the possibilities of uh, the Australian team. They could manage uh, Austria. Uh, they did good uh, <coughs> in their last game. But here, Finland, uh, the, the, the experience and I think the push, the physical game, uh, is quite a little bit above uh, what uh, Australia is uh, probably used to or can uh, control in this game. And this, this game definitely belongs to uh, Finland and uh, they have no problem controlling and dominating it. And uh, yeah, here we go again. They use the chaotic situations they create on the, um, uh, on the Australian basket to score. So it's a 8-0 right now. Yeah, I think uh, <coughs> Australia has to get used to this uh, physical game. And it's uh, a tough uh, experience for them. Um, I think they are play better against teams uh, which have, uh, did not play so physical. So 11 seconds to go. So it's done. Yeah, I think so too. Uh, thank you, Gustavo. You like my name. That's quite a, uh, an honor. I think so too. Wolf is a cool name. So uh, uh, this is the end of the game. Uh, uh, Australia against Finland. And we have now a three minutes break. As you can imagine, the break, uh, three minutes. And we're good in time, actually. Uh, we're doing good. And a three minutes break is not a lot for us to talk in between uh, as we want to stay in the games. Um, it was 8-0, wasn't it? Yeah. 8-0, um, so 